Hi and welcome. In today's video, we will see how to replicate one very common feature and quite useful actually feature of Zoom, which is the grid view. How to replicate that in our Google Meet. All right. Let's see what the grid view means and what we are talking about exactly. So here we have our Chrome browser open. Uh, this works specifically for Chrome browsers, right? So we have a Chrome browser and let's look at what do, we, what do we mean by the grid view. A simple search query and just see. As you can see over here in the search results, we have this view that you can see, right? where you have a lot of participants available, each participant is occupying a small portion of the screen. Each screen is visible, each participant is visible, right? This is not available by default in your Google Meet, right? So let's see, let's see first, how does Google, how does Google Meet look without it? And then let's see what is the solution available for it, all right? So I already have a Google Meet called Setup with a few of my students waiting around for me. So we'll just jump into the call. And you can see that uh, <laughs> these are my students. So obviously they'll be talking about games, PUBG and everything and whatnot. So yeah, all, keeping all that aside, you can see there are a lot of participants over here, but only one participant is shown in the central screen. Other participants are sharing this small sidebar over here, as you can see. And I can see there are four more other participants available, but uh, I cannot see them on the sidebar. So how do we go about solving that? So for that, if you want to get this kind of a view, a solution does exist in the form of a Google Chrome extension, right? And that extension is titled Google Meet Grid View. and it's obviously available in Chrome Web Store. And that's why I said this is for specifically for Chrome. And I cannot add in incognito or guest windows. Just give me a moment. I'll just hop in over to my regular window. Meet grid view. That was. It's a very simple step. You search it in the Chrome store or just Google it out. The very first link that you're getting would be of the Chrome store itself. Add it to Chrome. Do you want to add extension? Yes, I want to add the extension and it will just simply install. That's it. Use this extension by clicking over here. That's all fine all, but I want this to be available in my incognito mode also. So what we'll be doing over here is going over here, more tools, extension, Google meet grid view I'm seeing over here. I'll go into the details as you can see and allow in incognito. I'll allow this over here, right? Once that is done, close this thing, I'm going back to my meet okay uh let's log out and log in again into this call just uh, let me enter the id for that We'll take, uh, yeah, there they are waiting already. Ah, you see on the top right corner over here, along with the number of participants, that is and the chat window and your own face over here, you can see a small, another add-on is shown over here. And what does that add-on show? Only show only participants with video, highlight the speakers, include yourself in the grid viewer, enable grid view by default. But checking on the any of these checkboxes, you can turn on and off any other option you want, but you're seeing that no, no effect is being highlighted over here on the screen. So what to do for that? 
check this. So once I click this sign, I'm not including myself in the grid and I don't want to highlight the speakers and I don't want to show people with just the video, right? There you go. I have all my, how many participants do I have? 12 participants, 11 participants, right? I have all my participants present on the screen in a grid view, which is similar to the grid view that is available on Zoom. So now you now you can see all the students that are supposed to be present in your classroom are there or not. You don't have to worry about, oh, is this person present over here or not and so on and so forth by just checking out the small sidebar that we had over here. As in when people join or leave, as you can see, one more person joined back again. So my grid got full. If I have one more person coming in, if I have one more person coming in, the grid will resize itself to incorporate that person. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you.